Have you ever wondered how a series of small needles can alleviate chronic pain and improve your health? Welcome to the intriguing world of acupuncture, a practice that has fascinated health enthusiasts and medical practitioners alike for centuries. Acupuncture, a cornerstone of traditional Chinese medicine, is a therapeutic technique that has been in practice for over 2,000 years. This ancient art, steeped in mystery and symbolism, involves the insertion of ultra-thin sterile needles into specific points on the body. Each of these points are believed to correspond with various physiological and psychological functions, making acupuncture a holistic approach to health and wellness. Why has this age-old practice captured the interest of people from all walks of life? The answer lies in its unique approach to healing. Rather than focusing solely on symptoms, acupuncture aims to address the root cause of discomfort or disease, promoting overall well-being. It's a form of healing that recognizes the intricate connections between the mind, the body, and the spirit, offering a comprehensive approach to health that is both preventative and curative. But it's not just the philosophical underpinnings of acupuncture that intrigue us. The scientific community has also taken a keen interest in this practice. Numerous studies have shown that acupuncture can effectively manage a variety of health conditions, from chronic pain and migraines to anxiety and insomnia. It's this blend of ancient wisdom and modern science that makes acupuncture a compelling subject of study and practice. Despite its widespread popularity, acupuncture remains shrouded in misconceptions and misunderstandings. Some view it as a pseudoscience, while others swear by its healing powers. As we move forward, we'll unravel the truths and myths surrounding this fascinating practice, providing a balanced and insightful look into the world of acupuncture. So, are you ready to embark on this journey with us? Are you prepared to challenge your preconceptions and open your mind to a different perspective on health and healing? If so, you're in the right place. Join in as we delve deeper into the captivating world of acupuncture. But first, what exactly is acupuncture? Acupuncture is a practice that stems from traditional Chinese medicine dating back over 2,000 years. It's based on the belief that our bodies are governed by a life force known as qi, pronounced qi. This qi flows through us in channels known as meridians. When the flow of qi is balanced, we experience health. But if it's blocked or out of balance, health problems can arise. Now, how does acupuncture come into play? This is where it gets interesting. Acupuncture aims to restore the balance of qi. And how does it do this? Through the use of thin, sterile needles. These needles are inserted into specific points along the meridians. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. The needles are so thin, many people hardly feel them. Acupuncture isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. The points chosen for needle insertion are unique to each individual, depending on their health needs. An acupuncturist will typically conduct an in-depth consultation before the first session. They'll ask about your health history, lifestyle, and symptoms. This information helps them map out your unique meridian system and identify the best acupuncture points for you. But let's clear up a common misconception. Acupuncture isn't just about needles. It's a holistic healing approach that may also involve other techniques such as cupping, moxibustion, that's the burning of a herb called mugwort, dietary advice, and even exercises like Tai Chi and Qigong. And while we're on the subject of misconceptions, let's address the elephant in the room. Is acupuncture painful? Well, most people report feeling minimal discomfort. Some even find the experience relaxing. Of course, everyone's experience is different, but rest assured your comfort and safety are always of utmost importance to a professional acupuncturist. Now that we have an understanding of what acupuncture is, let's explore how it works. How can inserting needles into specific points in the body bring health benefits? This question may have crossed your mind when you first heard about acupuncture. It seems almost paradoxical, doesn't it? Well, let's unravel this mystery together. To truly comprehend the mechanics of acupuncture, we need to dive into the world of traditional Chinese medicine. Central to this ancient practice is the concept of qi, pronounced as qi, which translates to life energy or vital energy. According to this philosophy, qi is the force that animates and informs all things. In humans, qi flows through specific pathways known as meridians. Imagine qi as a river flowing through your body and the meridians as the riverbed. In a balanced state, this river flows smoothly. However, life stresses, illnesses or injuries can disrupt this flow, just as a dam disrupts a river. 
This disruption in the cheese flow is believed to result in pain, dysfunction and ill health. This is where acupuncture comes in. By inserting thin needles into specific points along these meridians, acupuncturists aim to restore the proper flow of qi. Each acupuncture point serves as a tiny gateway to the qi river, enabling the acupuncturist to influence how the qi flows. Think of the acupuncturist as a skilled river guide. They can insert a needle at one point to slow the rushing current, or at another to clear a blockage, ensuring that the life-giving qi flows smoothly again. This is believed to stimulate the body's natural healing processes and promote physical and emotional well-being. Now, science has its own interpretation of how acupuncture works. Research suggests that acupuncture points are strategic conductors of electromagnetic signals. Stimulating these points through acupuncture needles may increase the flow of healing or pain-killing natural chemicals in the body. It may also trigger the release of adenosine a natural compound known for its pain-relieving effect during acupuncture. Moreover, some studies propose that acupuncture may stimulate the central nervous system, triggering a release of chemicals into the muscles, spinal cord and brain. These chemicals can alter the experience of pain or release other chemicals like hormones that influence the body's self-regulating systems. This biochemical change can stimulate the body's natural healing abilities and promote physical and emotional well-being. So whether you believe in the traditional concept of qi and meridians or prefer the scientific interpretation of biochemical changes, the goal remains the same, to restore balance and promote health and well-being. Acupuncture, in essence, is a means of communication with your body. It's a way of saying, hey, something's not right here, let's fix it. And that's the beauty of it, a simple yet profound way of healing that's been around for thousands of years. With this understanding of how acupuncture works, it's time to delve into the benefits it offers. What health benefits can you expect from acupuncture, you may ask? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey through the myriad of health benefits that this ancient practice offers. First off, let's talk about pain relief. Acupuncture is often hailed as a natural painkiller and for good reason. This practice stimulates the body's pain receptors, altering its pain processing and transmission. It's been shown to be effective in managing various types of pain, including chronic back pain, osteoarthritis, migraines, and even menstrual cramps. Imagine going through your day without the constant nagging of pain. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? Acupuncture can make that dream a reality. Moving on, we encounter another impressive benefit of acupuncture, stress reduction. In today's fast-paced world, stress seems to be an unwelcome constant. It's not just about feeling frazzled. Chronic stress can lead to serious health issues like hypertension, diabetes, and heart disease. Acupuncture can come to the rescue by helping to regulate stress hormones. It's like hitting the reset button on your body's stress responses. Picture yourself sitting back, breathing easier, and simply letting the stress melt away. That's the power of acupuncture, but wait, there's more. Acupuncture doesn't stop at pain relief and stress reduction. It also plays a role in improving sleep quality. Insomnia and other sleep disorders can take a significant toll on your health and well-being. Acupuncture can help by promoting the production of melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep. It's like nature's lullaby, gently coaxing your body into restful sleep. Imagine waking up feeling refreshed and rejuvenated every single day. That's the promise of acupuncture. As if all these benefits weren't enough, Acupuncture also enhances immune function. Our immune system is our body's main line of defense against disease. Acupuncture can boost this defense system by stimulating the production of immune cells. It's like having an army of bodyguards always ready to protect you from harm. Imagine facing flu season with confidence, knowing your immune system is at its peak. That's the advantage of acupuncture. Now let's not forget about the overall enhancement of well-being that acupuncture offers. It's not just about treating specific health issues. Acupuncture promotes a sense of balance and harmony within the body, leading to improved vitality and energy. It's like having a tune-up for your body, ensuring that all systems are running smoothly. Imagine feeling your best, day in and day out. That's the acupuncture effect. To top it all off, acupuncture can also aid in digestion. Digestive problems can be a real pain but acupuncture can help regulate the digestive system and alleviate symptoms of conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, gastritis, and acid reflux. It's like having a personal nutritionist, optimizing your body's ability to absorb nutrients and eliminate waste. 
Imagine enjoying your favorite foods without fear of discomfort. That's the benefit of acupuncture. In summary, acupuncture offers a wide array of health benefits from pain relief and stress reduction to improved sleep and enhanced immune function. It promotes overall well-being, boosts digestion, and even acts as a natural painkiller. It's like having a personal health coach, always there to help you achieve your health goals. While the benefits of acupuncture are numerous, there are also misconceptions that need to be addressed. But that's a topic for the next scene. Stay tuned. What are some of the common misconceptions about acupuncture and what is the truth behind them? When it comes to acupuncture, a thousand year old practice, it's not surprising that there are quite a few misconceptions floating around. Some of these misconceptions may even be stopping you from trying this therapeutic method. Today, we're going to debunk some of these myths and bring the truths to light. One of the most common fears surrounding acupuncture is that it's painful. After all, it involves needles, right? But here's the truth. Acupuncture needles are incredibly thin. They're much thinner than the needles you'd encounter at a regular doctor's visit. In fact, they're so thin that several acupuncture needles can fit into the hollow tip of a single hypodermic needle. Most people report feeling minimal discomfort during acupuncture, often describing the sensation as a slight tingling or a gentle dullness. Another common misconception is that acupuncture is dangerous. The reality is when performed by a qualified and experienced practitioner, acupuncture is extremely safe. The risk of serious side effects is very low. In fact, the World Health Organization has recognized the safety and efficacy of acupuncture for over two decades. You may have also heard that acupuncture only works if you believe in it, implying that it's all in your head. It's not entirely false that a positive mindset can enhance any therapeutic experience. However, acupuncture's effectiveness is not solely dependent on belief. Numerous scientific studies have shown that acupuncture can cause physiological changes in the body, influencing pain perception and improving various bodily functions. Another myth that's out there is that acupuncture is only for adults. But that's not true. Acupuncture can be beneficial for all ages, including children. Pediatric acupuncture is a growing field and research has shown it to be safe and effective for a variety of conditions, from anxiety to chronic pain. Then there's the idea that acupuncture is a last resort treatment, something you try only after everything else has failed. This couldn't be further from the truth. Acupuncture is often used in conjunction with other treatments as part of a comprehensive healthcare plan. It can be an excellent preventative measure, not just a last ditch effort. Another misconception is that acupuncture only helps with pain. While it's true that acupuncture is often used for pain management, it's not limited to that. Acupuncture can help with a variety of issues from stress and insomnia to digestive problems and fertility concerns. Lastly, there's the myth that you'll see immediate results after one acupuncture session. While some people do experience immediate relief, others may need a few sessions before they see significant changes. Acupuncture is not a one-size-fits-all treatment, and the number of sessions needed can vary from person to person. In debunking these myths, we hope to shed light on acupuncture as a safe, versatile, and effective form of therapy that is accessible to people of all ages. It's not merely a last resort, it's not just for pain. And it's certainly not just in your head. So don't let these misconceptions hold you back from exploring the benefits of acupuncture. Remember, it's all about finding what works best for your body and your health. Having dispelled these misconceptions, let's look at what to expect during an acupuncture session. What should you expect when you go in for an acupuncture session? From the moment you step into the acupuncturist's office, you'll likely feel a sense of calm wash over you. The atmosphere is typically designed to promote relaxation with soft lighting, gentle music, and a sense of tranquility. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Your acupuncture journey starts with a consultation. During the consultation, you'll discuss your health history and any specific concerns you might have. This is a crucial step as it allows your acupuncturist to create a treatment plan tailored specifically to you. Whether you're seeking relief from chronic pain, looking to manage stress, or wanting to improve your overall well-being, your acupuncturist will consider all these factors. Once your consultation is complete, you'll move on to the treatment room. Depending on your specific needs, you may be asked to lie down on a comfortable table, either on your back, stomach or side. You'll be draped in a cozy blanket, ensuring your comfort throughout the process. And then comes the part that most people have questions about. 
Needle insertion. The acupuncturist will insert thin, sterile needles into specific points on your body. These points, known in acupuncture as meridians, are believed to correspond to various organs and systems within your body. If you're concerned about pain, let's dispel that concern right now. These needles are much thinner than the ones you'd encounter during a typical doctor's visit. Most people report feeling a slight prick, a tingle, or a warm sensation, but not pain. Following needle insertion, you'll be left to relax for about 20 to 30 minutes. The needles are doing their work, stimulating your body's natural healing response. During this time, you may doze off, meditate, or simply enjoy the quiet. This is your time to disconnect from the outside world and connect with your inner self. Once your relaxation time is over, the acupuncturist will carefully remove the needles. You may feel a sense of euphoria, calm, or increased energy. Everyone's experience is unique, but most people report feeling better in some way after a session. But your acupuncture experience doesn't end when you leave the office. Post-session care is just as important. Your acupuncturist might recommend drinking plenty of water to help flush out any toxins that the treatment may have dislodged. They may also suggest certain lifestyle changes, exercises or dietary adjustments to support your overall wellness. Acupuncture is a journey, not a quick fix. It's about tapping into your body's innate healing abilities, promoting balance, and achieving a state of well-being. With a clear picture of what an acupuncture session looks like, let's wrap up our discussion. So, what have we learned about acupuncture? Let's circle back and gather our thoughts. We started our journey by stepping into the intriguing world of acupuncture, a traditional Chinese medicinal practice that dates back thousands of years. But what exactly is acupuncture? It's a method that involves the insertion of very thin needles through your skin at strategic points on your body. A key component of traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture is often used to manage a host of health conditions. We then dove into the mechanics of acupuncture. The practice is based on the concept of qi, pronounced qi, an energy that flows through our bodies along pathways known as meridians. When this flow is disrupted, it can result in illness or discomfort. Acupuncture works by stimulating specific points along these meridians, helping to restore the balance and flow of qi, and thereby promoting health and wellness. Our exploration led us to uncover the many health benefits of acupuncture, from relieving chronic pain and reducing stress to aiding digestion and promoting sleep, the potential benefits are wide-ranging. It's important to note that while acupuncture can complement traditional treatments, it's not a cure-all. Always consult with your healthcare provider to determine the best course of action for your specific health needs. We also debunked some common misconceptions about acupuncture. Far from being a painful or scary procedure, acupuncture is generally safe and often described as relaxing. The needles used are extremely thin, and any minor discomfort is usually fleeting. With this newfound knowledge, you now have a deeper understanding of acupuncture and its potential benefits to your health. Remember, health is a journey, not a destination. Whether you choose to incorporate acupuncture into your routine or not, the key is to stay informed and make choices that support your well-being. Until next time, subscribe for more health and wellness content.